everyone. My video is starting. Hello everyone. Happy Thanksgiving Monday on this beautiful fall day here in Kimberly. I've been enjoying the beautiful fall fall colors in our backyard. Lots of uh, beautiful larch are changing color and leaves are falling. It's been breezy but sunny here today and I hope all of you are also having a good weekend and are enjoying the slightly warmer weather today. It's forecast for snow but here we are sunshine and blue skies. I want to take just a brief moment and thank everyone for being a part of this community and being a part of Caprice Fine Art. I really appreciate all of your support. I appreciate all the comments. I am incredibly grateful to have a wonderful group of students that have been with me for many years and I'm getting some new students all the time and there is nothing I enjoy as much as teaching. I have to say that because even the painting part of my life is a huge, huge importance to me, but um, I really have found passion in teaching and sharing that love of art. And so I wanna really take a moment to let you know how grateful I am that my students have been by my side listening to me yap about art endlessly and I really hope you will get to see some of the paintings from my students here in the Caprice Fine Art group. They are incredible painters now. Some of them have been with me for years and every time they do a new painting I see such great strides and I'm, in, I'm excited for you to for the world to see you guys. Um, so please do take time to post your paintings in the group and um, anyways I want you to just know how awesome my students are so just watch out for that. Uh, today I'm going to talk a quick bit about oh there's paint all over it. I can pull up a canvas and there's paint all over it. Um, I'm going to talk about canvases and the best way to choose a good canvas before you start uh, painting. With art there's so many decisions that go within every stroke. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, Roseanne. Thanks for being here. Uh, with canvases, you don't necessarily have to always pick the best quality. I am a big advocate of purchasing the best quality art supplies that you can. But with canvases, when you're starting out, that is a good place to maybe save a, a few bucks. My This is a student grade canvas. It's quite thin and I want you to notice that there's no staples on the side. All the staples are on the back. So when you buy an inexpensive canvas, make sure that the staples are on the back. And so that's the one prerequisite that I have. And the other thing I want you to pay attention to is the, this is one of my canvases, the top of the line canvas. Uh, it is 12, 12 ounce cotton. And the difference in the weight of your canvas is that it's got a real texture to the canvas that is not in the student grade canvases. So that uh, makes a difference for how you apply the paint and how much paint you use. And the better the tooth, the better your painting is gonna be. It's really, you're gonna get a lot from that texture. So keep that in mind. And I also want you to think about the shape of the canvas. This is a really six by 12. It's a rectangular, very skinny, long and narrow. So your composition is going to be different on a rectangle like this versus a square canvas. If you're going to do a square canvas, you have to really proceed with caution because squares can be a challenge for your composition. I recently went to see the art exhibit that is at our local art gallery from Michael Hepner. And his uh, showpiece was this giant square. I 
roughly was 36 by 36, 40 inches by 40 inches. And he did a phenomenal job. It was just the showpiece. It was awesome. The composition, you have to avoid the center of the canvas at all costs. And that is easier to do on a rectangle than it is to do on a square canvas. So I do not recommend beginner students using square canvases. It's, it can be done, but it is just a bit more challenging for your composition. And another thing I would like you to remember is that you don't want to always be stuck working on a small sized canvas. Some students really prefer the small size. And then when they go to do a larger size canvas, they really struggle. They um, are intimidated by the, the size of it. And when I was first starting learning to paint, my student, uh, pardon me, my mentor had me do an eight by 10 inch canvas. And then she took that off my easel. And the next painting I did was like a 24 by 36 or 20 by 24. And then I went back to an eight by 10 and I was able to make the jump. And now I enjoy both small sizes and large size canvases. Um, in fact, the bigger, the better for me. I really, really enjoy a big canvas. And um, I don't want to be limited by a small canvas. So it's really important that I stretch those creative muscles in the direction of size. So don't be afraid to go big. And then once you get used to the big size, it's important that you are able to also go back, where, back to the small size and embrace that. And uh, I wanna go back one minute for the, the thought the quality um i had a student recently asked me how if do you need to prime or do anything to the canvas uh if you buy a primed canvas even like the student grade one technique that you can do is you hold the canvas up to the light and look through the window and if you see little pin pricks of light then it's not a good enough quality canvas um, you, I'm holding this uh, very inexpensive canvas and I don't see any light showing through as, as I hold it up in either direction. So that is important. And the reason being, if there's no light getting through, that means the white gesso primer is good enough quality. If there is light getting through, then that means there can get air through the canvas and there is potential for it to deteriorate a lot quicker than you would hope. So just keep an eye open for that. Um, I think, yeah, even the dollar store ones, they're usually pretty good. So uh, it's not normally an issue, but just keep an eye open for that. And let me see, I have one more thing I wanted to talk about. Let me just have, grab my notes here. Ah, oh, the wood pieces, let me see. That's what it was. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. In the back of this canvas, there is a little baggie uh, with these little wood pieces. And you put them in the back here and there's little slots right there. And the reason for those is if the canvas ever gets slightly warped or is not quite as taut as you would like, you can hammer those little uh, pieces of wood in and it'll stretch the wood bars apart and that will give you a nice firm taut canvas again. So that is one thing to, you know, pay attention to. It's I very hardly ever use those little square pieces, but they do come in handy on occasion. And another little thing, a uh, little secret tip because every once in a while you get a little uh, wow out in the middle of, of a canvas. If you get a bulge and you need it to go back to being flat, you can put an ice cube, lay, lay your canvas flat and just put an ice cube on the back side of the canvas where there is the bulge and it should tighten up the canvas nicely for you. So those are a few of your tips on canvases and how to choose them, how to care for them, what you need to know, uh, size, quality, shape, three very important decisions. Um, next week, 
I will be back again for my Facebook Live. Not quite sure what art tips I will pass on then, but I'm sure I'll come up with something that you probably would enjoy. So, ah, Jim, yeah, yeah those wood pieces are fabulous uh, for making everything nice and tight. Don't, don't, don't get rid of them. Hold on to them because they do come in handy, even though you don't need to use them very often. And Jim, if you have any other questions like that, please do feel free to ask in the comments. I'm here every Monday and um, look forward to answering more questions. Uh, and I also wanted to quickly mention that I will be doing my, my Facebook, no, not Facebook, it's gonna be a Zoom art lecture coming up at the end of October. I think it's October 23rd. It will be a one hour Zoom lesson session lecture on how to paint flowers and my November set art lecture zoom session will be on how to paint rocks so please do uh, sign up for those I've posted the link to register and for more information dates times etc in uh, under my video here today so I hope to see you then and uh, if not, I will see you next Monday Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and thank you again for your support. And uh, keep the questions coming. All right. Have a great, great Monday, everyone. Bye for now.